mean, it was a, a physical, playoff-oriented, defensive a gem of a game. And um, I know that, first of all, your presence on the floor was, was definitely needed. But what did that game, do you think, do for this team? I think, uh, you know, it's definitely a statement game. Um, Knicks, it was a big game for the Knicks. You know, they're, they're in the playoff hunt right now, trying to get to the 8 7 spot. So true, man. And uh, for us to go in on Friday night, sold out Madison Square Garden. Um, angry environment. Angry environment. And guys that were hungry to go win, to come up and, and get that win on the road was huge for us. Even though we clinched the game before that, it showed, uh, it showed the maturity of us. Now you play you played on some very good teams, very good defensive teams. Uh, there seems to be a pattern developing late in the season, and I think a lot of it has to do with some of the you know the older guys like you coming to the table for this team. But I thought the game last night was very similar to the Indiana Pacers game. Not a beauty contest offensively, but defensively, you did what you needed to do. Definitely. Uh, with, a, with a game like the New York playing against the Knicks, I mean, they junk up the game. They had Carmelo playing the five at one time with me out there with four guards. So the game was definitely junked up. Uh, a lot of mismatches uh, offensively and, and defensively and cross match. But uh, we held our own. I mean, you got to credit Trevor doing a, a great job on, on Carmelo. And uh, collectively as a team, we, we stepped up late in that fourth quarter, really uh, hold, our, hold our own and come out with a victory. You've been on playoff teams before. And, you know, these last couple of games, how important is it for you guys to kind of set a precedent, you know, develop a style, develop a, uh, a defensive presence as you get into the playoffs? Because you don't want to just get to the playoffs and then flip the switch, because obviously defense and gets ramped up in the playoffs. Definitely. You can't just uh, create a new identity this late in the season. Um, so these games are important? Definitely. I mean, like tonight, Chicago Bulls, I mean, this is a, this is a potential – opponent that we could play in the first round. So tonight is definitely a statement game that, hey, if we guys have you in the first round, you know, you better watch out. We're, we're coming to play. So these are what we call statement games like tonight. You know, Bradley Beal, the young guards, you know, Bradley Beal and John Wall last night, you know, I thought John with that little floater, man, we haven't seen that in his game yet, that floater. And Bradley was making shots. I mean, how yeah. impressed are you with those two guys? I was very impressed. Um, for them to come down, I know Brad hit a baseline uh, pull up. When I was out there and then hitting the, uh, hitting the shot for us to go up one, yep. including John's floater. But what stuck out to me the most was being up 51, I mean, excuse me, being up uh, two points with 51 seconds to go, and we still trying to attack the basket when we, get, we need to know that have maturity enough to right. you know, pull it out. We're not trying to come back and win the game. We right. have the, the game won. So I think uh, for us to just slow down and see the situation, uh, we can do better. But that comes with uh, that comes with games played and experience. It certainly does. Drew, I want to thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. That's Drew Gooden. You're listening to the Washington Wizards.